Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's time for a KBS Vertical. So you might be aware of a little beer called KBS. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it was just released to Founders' wider distribution footprint on March 15th of 2019, and I just happen to have some of it right here. So for the closest thing I can approximate to science, I have some different years of the beer that have been aged in a couple of different ways. First up, I have a fresh bottle from this year. I picked it up on March 8th from the Detroit Tap Room about a week before it hit store shelves. I also have a 2018 bottle that's been refrigerated at roughly 45 degrees for the last year. And last but not least, I have a bottle of 2018 that's been kept at a pretty constant 60 to 65 degrees in my basement in my cellar. I thought it would be a pretty interesting to see not only how different uh, the years stack up over each other, 2019 versus 2018, but also to see how two kept under different conditions from 2018 would differ from each other. Now, if you're interested in seeing or hearing what I thought about these beers on an individual case by case basis, I'll leave links to those reviews in the description below this video. So let's take a quick look a quick minute to see the differences between these two labels so that you can be sure if you see these on shelves that you'll be picking up, you know, which which year you'll be picking up and how to identify that. I just wanted a really quick shout out to my friend Eddie who provided the 2018 bottle, the refrigerated bottle. He refrigerated it up until about August of last year. I took it from him and I brought it home and I've been refrigerating it refrigerating it ever since. Um, and looking really quickly at the labels, the only difference that you're gonna notice on these bottles, if you pick up a 2018, if you happen to find a 2018, if you pick up a 2019, the only difference, and I'll put a little inset, is on the back, there will be the 2019 just says 2019 series and the 2018 says 2018 series. Uh, and other than that, the, the difference will be when they have been bottled. Um, for the 2019 version, this is from uh, 212. 2019 from the refrigerated, this is 223 2018. And from the cellared version, this is 215 2018. All 12.3% and a 12.2%. As you can see, I've labeled them here on the back, so I know which ones are which. But uh, actually, the KBS is a little less outlined on the new 2019 than it is on the old 2018s. So. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to grab my little taster glasses. These are, I don't have little sampler or little snifters that I can use that are, that are good enough to kind of, you know, use for this. I, they're all different sizes and they're all mismatched, but whatever. We're going to go ahead and crack these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open each one of these individually, smell it and pour it. And then once they're all kind of smelled and poured and all that good stuff, then I'm going to taste each one and kind of go through it. So this is the new 2019 version. And just to note, these were all put in the refrigerator. Uh, you know, obviously this refrigerated one's been refrigerated, but they got put together uh, about 12 hours ago. They've been sitting out for a good, probably 25 minutes to 30 minutes. The stouts are best served at 45 to 55 degrees. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll probably, you know, put a thermometer in one of these, if here it is, uh, put it in one of these, just to kind of give you an idea of, they should all be the same temp. So this is the 2019. Getting a nice kind of chocolatey coffee smell out of it. Lot, not a lot of bourbon on the smell. And hopefully the overhead will catch that. That is a nice coffee colored head. Let's go ahead and open the refrigerated version of 2018. All the caps are these gold caps. The insides are pretty much identical. This head one smells like I'm getting a little bit more of a bourbon, more of a more of a vanilla-y kind of scent. Let's pour this for the overhead. Again, this is about a year old. It's got a little bit darker of a head. Uh, the head's dissipating fairly quickly, and then we're gonna open up the cellared at about 60 to 65 degrees for the last year. Getting more of a bourbon. So let's smell these two. I mean, they're pretty, pretty, pretty darn close. So let's get the overhead here. This is the Cellared 2018. I don't know if it was my pour being a little bit more conservative on the pour, but the, the, the heads are really dark when they initially get poured. 
but as the head kind of fades, they both they all turn to be about the same kind of color. So we'll do this. We'll put. Man, I never know what to do with all these bottles. So I'm gonna put them like this. We'll show the overhead again. These are the heads, the cellared, the refrigerated, and the new. So I'm gonna just have them set like that. That's how they're always gonna be. So refrigerated is always gonna be in the middle. Cellared will always be on the right, my right side and the 2019 new will always be on the left. So I'm getting a little bit of a chocolatey kind of scent out of this one. A similar scent out of this refrigerated, the cellared one, the, the head has just died. They all just smell really similar. Chocolatey, under some bourbon notes. Maybe a little bit more bourbony. And again, a little bit more bourbony. So these still, they smell really similar. So let's go ahead and dive into these. Oh, let's actually, let's, let's get the temperature on these. I'm expecting them to be about right around 54 degrees. And I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna, you know, look at one because they should all be the same. They've all been out of the refrigerator for the exact same amount of time. They have all been in the refrigerator for the exact same amount of time. So they, all things being equal, they should be the same. I am bottoming out at about 54, 54 degrees. So if you can see that, should say 54 degrees. Uh, it's probably raising up now. So let's go ahead and now we're gonna dive right in. As I said in my review for 2019, I'm getting a little bit more bourbon as it's warmed up a little bit more, but this is a big time chocolate year. This year is a lot of chocolate. Coffee's on the tail end, but it's very kind of slight. Uh, it, as it's warmed up a little, even a little bit warmer than it was for the review, maybe a degree or two, I'm getting more of the bourbon taste out of it. And that's, that's kind of a good thing because I didn't notice too much of the bourbon on the initial review. But yeah, loads of cocoa, loads of chocolate, and a, and a bourbon kind of overtone to the whole thing. So that's 2018, or I'm sorry, 2019 new, brand new. This is a refrigerated 2018. Mmm. Immediately, immediately noticing a lot more bourbon. Um a little less chocolate, a little less coffee, and a lot more of that bourbon taste. I mean, the first drink, the first taste, the first little, the first little molecule that hit my tongue was like, oh my gosh, I am tasting that bourbony sting. There's more of a bourbon up front. On the second drink, I get, I'm getting more of the bourbon on the tail end. I'm getting a lot more bourbon on the aftertaste on the finish. So let's go ahead and dive into the Cellared 2018. The bourbon, it's, it's a different bourbon kind of taste on this one. So I'm still getting the bourbon, but it's not as strong. It's a little bit more mellowed. I'm getting more coffee and a little bit more of that bourbon mixing in there to kind of create this almost vanilla kind of taste. I'm getting that a little bit more on the cellared version, on the kind of mellowed cellared version. I, I, what I want to think is that when you refrigerate uh, a beer like this for that long of a time, it kind of slows down the aging process because it's at a constant temperature. All the stuff that's in the beer that's working in there kind of slows down. It doesn't, it doesn't change the beer in the exact same way. So that's kind of why I wanted to show you a refrigerated version versus a cellared version. The cellared version, I'm getting a little bit more of an astringent kind of coffee taste to it and a little bit less of the bourbon than I got from the refrigerated version. And, I, and the aftertaste, as I'm talking, I'm getting a lot more of a strong chocolate um, this is kind of a, a baker's chocolate, like an unsweetened chocolate kind of taste out of it. A little bit more of a sting on the tail end. Let's go back to 2019. Yeah, 2019, again, as it warms up, it kind of gets a little bit more of that bourbon bite to it, but it has such a strong chocolate 
um, loaded kind of taste to it that the chocolate really pours through. The bourbon's in there. It's still a subtle overtone. And then the coffee's in there on the finish. I think overall, I still, I like 2019 a little bit better than I like 2018 overall, just because I like to have that chocolate taste in there a lot more than I've been able to pick up in 2018. And even when I, I remember just drinking 2018, the chocolate wasn't in there as much as the coffee was really strong. And there was more of a bourbon kind of profile to it. Maybe more also of an oak kind of flavor than, than 2019 has. But I just enjoy the fact that 2019 is really strong on that chocolate. And that's what I want out of a stout like this is that really strong chocolate taste with the coffee that's kind of in there on the tail and the bourbon that kind of lays over all of it. Let's go back. I, so I'm kind of, I feel like 2019 is a known commodity, but these two are just a little bit different. So the, let's do the refrigerated one more taste. Yeah, I'm still getting that kind of bourbony bite on the tail, on the finish. Uh, it's a little bit kind of a sweeter overall kind of taste than 2019 is. And let's go with the cellared version. And I feel like I've said this before, but the cellared version, the one that's been kept in the in kind of a 60 to 65 degree environment, is just kind of like everything's mixed together really well. Like everything's come together. I don't notice a overpowering chocolate. I don't notice an overpowering uh, coffee. And I don't notice an overpowering bourbon. I think with the refrigerated, I get the, and I remember last year's being really strong on the bourbon front. Uh, and I think with the refrigerated version, that's what I'm getting. And with the cellared, I'm again, I'm getting a good really kind of mix, a meld of all those three flavors, what you kind of expect. And the bourbon being a little bit stronger in these years kind of lend to, to me almost giving a little bit more of a vanilla kind of taste to the whole thing. Whereas with 2019, I get, didn't get any vanilla taste at all. Yeah, just chocolate overload, which I like. Dark chocolate overload, not a sweet, milky chocolate. Strong bourbon up front, but much more coffee on the, on the refrigerated. And the cellar seems to have a little bit more of a subtle um, bourbon taste in there, as well as a strong coffee aftertaste with a little bit of that chocolate mixed in for good measure. If I had it all to drink over again, I think my pick would be 2019, and maybe that's blasphemy. I don't know how other people feel about that, but I really like 2019 a whole lot. I would take a mellowed kind of um, cellared 2018 version as my second and my third choice. Not that it's, and they're all still really good, but my last pick of the three would be the refrigerated just because that bourbon is still really strong in there. It has a really nice coffee taste to it, which I like the coffee taste, but I prefer to have the chocolate be the dominant taste in the whole package. And, and next to that would be the a mix of all the flavors together. All right, friends, that has been a vertical of KBS from 2018 and 2019, a couple different flavors. Have you had your own vertical tasting or do you plan on doing one? Or have you just tried each individual year and you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about Michigan beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays for free just for viewers like you. I'm sure you'll see something that you either haven't seen before or you're curious about trying. And if you watch this long, I have a surprise for you. I'm giving away a 2019 KBS glass, fully wrapped, it hasn't touched my lips, I promise. I haven't even taken out of the wrapping yet. All you need to do is share this video somewhere on social media and leave me a comment with the site that you saved it on so I can verify. And I'll pick one lucky winner at random on April 2nd and I'll contact you, send you a glass and maybe some other goodies too. You have to be in the lower 48 states to qualify for this giveaway. So sorry, Alaska and Hawaii. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, all this stuff. Support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>